everyone, this is the Shadow 11. I'm back with an update. It has been two weeks since I started school. I finished my second week of school, even though I've only been going to class about twice a week, so it's technically only like four days. So I haven't even been to school for a week, but it's been two weeks. Lately, I've just been shooting this. I The reason I haven't been out doing any updates or doing any videos is just because I've been back to shooting Birth of Blood Loss. Getting closer to finally finishing up filming, maybe. Uh, I should be done by the middle of September, and then I'll release it maybe end of September. Especially because Ringling gives you your own Mac computer, which has all these great uh, programs installed, like Adobe After Effects, something I don't have in my own computer that I've had for so many years. So I want to learn how to use those visual effects because that is like the peak. That is the best programs out there, like right now. And I have Final, a crappy Final Cut Express that kills the quality of the video, despite having maybe good effects, but it's just kind of meh. Yeah, once I learn After Effects, then that'll be really quick, and then I will get back to Salvation 6. I recently got a comment on one of my videos, and I had to explain why I can't, I'm not working on it. Other people can make their stop motion films, like my uncle MP can do his film, but he, they have time. I don't, I don't have any time. Uh, I work two jobs. And I work, and then I also have uh, going back to school, and it, it's really busy for me. And I don't have I don't have 12 hour days to shoot. I only have maybe like six hours, and my camera is crap. But recently, I went to one of my teachers at Ringling, and I asked her if she can help me out with my camera problem, and hopefully, I'll be able to solve my horrible trouble with shooting because I know exactly what I want to shoot when I'm shooting. I know what I want to shoot here. It's just the camera decides to not follow orders and just takes forever to have each image uh, correlate with the last one so it, it, it seamlessly looks perfect but otherwise it's just that takes forever and my camera dies quickly as well and I honestly just need a new camera but if I can solve this maybe I can at least finish Salvation 6 and this film and then after that it'll probably be my last time doing a stop motion film so I do Salvation 6 is not dead it is on hiatus it's on production hell I will get back to it when I eventually can, and maybe if I can solve the camera crisis, then maybe I can get back to it. I can maybe I can finish shooting it this year. Maybe I want to finish shooting. Oh, that's thunder. It's already raining. I believe actually it's 2017. It is my 10 year anniversary here on YouTube. In just a few days, in eight days, which means I have to upload a lot of videos. Which means I'm gonna have to take it. This will take a back seat for a little while until I finish some videos, because I do have a lot of ideas. One is doing a teaser trailer for not Salvation 6, not for this film, but for something else that I've been working on for a while. Something I want to do for proof of concept, I guess, is what I want to do for this teaser trailer that I'm working on. Uh, it's just something that you guys are going to really like. It'll probably be very short, not, not too much, but otherwise you guys really enjoy it. After so long, it's been on my computer forever. All the images, all, and the script, I need to revise the script, but... The next top 10 will also be released on my 10th anniversary. And it's gonna be a big one. Why is it? It's raining! And that will be released on also, and then I'll probably have one more video. I'll probably release three videos, maybe four. And then that'll probably be the last time you guys see, you see videos from me until uh, this is finished. Another thing that's kind of overcome me lately is uh, nostalgia. And I've been rebuilding a lot of old friends. And by old friends, I mean Bionicle sets. Like, these guys, the Baraki, have been 100% rebuilt. It's been something that's been on my mind for a long time. Uh, I just wanted to rebuild them, although Mantax is not 100% perfect because he has there's some pieces on him that I'm missing and some pieces that I gave to a friend and then a piece that I'm using for Gorax. So I'm not going to take apart Gorax just yet. And then here's Bizon, Axon, Brutaka, Gadunk. Oh shit, I just spoiled it. Nocturne and... Gadunka, I have rebuilt Gadunka. This dude is awesome. I cannot, I don't know what persuaded me to rebuild this guy. I had to take apart a few pieces from Mox, but otherwise I rebuilt him entirely. He's not 100% perfect. There's some different pieces on him that I would like to be others. But all in all, this is awesome to have Gadunka rebuilt. I love this guy. I might do a review on him like I've done with several others. Um, there's the Shadowed One, Kuda, Teradax, the Rakshi. Oh! Who's that? Is that Makuda Icarax? I've also rebuilt Icarax. And who's that next to him? Vaporak. Yeah, you guys heard it right. Uh, remember that teaser trailer? Uh, yeah, um, he might be in it. That's all I can really say. Alright. 
but yeah, that's for Polarak. And I rebuilt Maxilos as much as I possibly could. I've rebuilt a ton of the old Titan sets. Let me see if I can zoom out here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty freaking awesome. I love it. I love having the old Titans surround my uh, <laughs> my bed, which is pretty sweet. That's kind of just updates for right now, guys. I have a lot of videos coming out. Uh, the most important videos aren't coming out for a while, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I can't make any promises when they're going to be released, but otherwise, stick around, please. It means the world to me. Otherwise, I wish you guys a goodbye. I gotta work on my homework. I gotta write a script uh, that maybe I might adapt into a film. I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.